Hello, and welcome to today's SAP Business One video on reports, specifically focusing in on financial reports. Today, I'm going to give you a high level overview of where to locate the reports, the report tools, and some of the other features associated with financial reports. First, there's multiple ways to access financial reports in the system. The first way is you can use the menu option here on the left. You can drill into financials, financial reports, and you can associate all the reports here. You can also scroll down into the reports section of the menu and go into financials. And again, here's some of the same options. Finally, it's easy with your cockpit. If you have a financial cockpit, you can see here on the right, financial reports. And if I click my blue arrow here, these are all the reporting options associated with financial reports. So by one click of a button, I could pull up a profit and loss statement. I'm going to slide this up so you can see this a little bit better. But you can see that there's a selection criteria. Within Business One, all reports have a selection criteria. So you can pretty much configure the report the way you want to see, want to see it, and what information is to be on that report. If I wanted to do a quarterly report instead of an annual report, I can certainly do that. Maybe I want to take a look at 2019's profit and loss statement since we just finished the year 2019. I can change my dates here and do that as well. To the right, there's also more specific information that you can select for the financial report, or I should say the profit and loss statement. I can do it by division, region, or department. I certainly can expand it and link it to a specific financial project. Maybe I have the multiple branch feature enabled and I want to do it for a specific branch or a location within my company, or I could do it for a product line. But however, once I have my selection criteria populated the way I want to see it and the information that I want on the report, I can click OK. The system gathers that information and populates a profit and loss statement. I'm going to slide this over here so you can see it a little bit better. And right now, here's a quick overview of our 2019 profit and loss. And I can see it by the specific total down here below. And here it has all my titles accounts. How the profit and loss statement works is it flows with your chart of accounts. So right now, we are on level one of our chart of accounts. If I want to get into more specific information, I certainly can change it to level two. And we can see that it then post our sub accounts. If I want to get into level three, it posts our GL account titles. And then level four is our posting accounts. And you can see the specific GL accounts associated with the profit and loss statement. The nice thing about SAP Business One is it has built in crystal reports. So you can configure templates on a cosmetic purpose to view specific reporting. So when I click my preview here, it's going to take all this information in the profit and loss statement and configure it into my template that I've created specifically for profit and loss reports. Now, as we're waiting and it's gathering the information, keep in mind that you can use Crystal Reports for all reporting options within SAP Business One. It doesn't have to be just financial reports or it doesn't have to be just a profit and loss statement. You can do it for any reporting in Business One. And we can see here on the left, that it populates the information and adds it to our crystal report, makes it nice and neat. You can do it for as specific information as GL accounts. You can add your company logo. You can move all this around and make it cosmetically appropriate for your business. You have the ability to then email this out of Business One, print it, export it to a PDF. So there's many different options that you can do from this reporting option. Also, you can configure and add specific golden link arrows if you'd like, so that if I wanted to view this GL account in the chart of accounts, I can configure a golden link arrow here and it'll drill into that specific information. So it's very editable from a configuring standpoint. If I want to view other financial reports, I'm just going to use my blue arrow again here, and I want to look at a balance sheet. Here's the selection criteria of my balance sheet. Again, if I wanted to change the date for 2019 to view that information, I certainly can do that. I can do it, maybe I want to do it quarterly this time instead of annually. 
And again, I have more expanded options and segments that I can choose from for segmenting purposes. And I click OK, and it works just like a profit and loss sheet. The selection criteria populates, and it populates and pulls in the real-time data report based off of the information that you've plugged into the system. It's nice because if you recall, I did it by quarter, so it breaks it down by quarter one, quarter two. If I slide over here, quarter four, again, I have the ability to export this to Excel, PDF. I can email it or print it and view the crystal report. So those are just a couple high level features of reporting specifically for financials within SAP Business One. Thank you for listening.